How did you get started with music at Southminster Church? Well, I first started as a sub for Jan Wilkerson, who was the pianist here um, when they first started. And 95 and 96, while we were still worshiping in the old orthopedic hospital, I was then hired in February, just before we moved into the original sanctuary, or phase one, Easter Sunday, 1997. Now, under J. Ron, we sang a lot of traditional hymns, piano only at first, and then the Stowe family of Belmont donated an organ, and we used it for certain music and hymns and simple choral pieces for the choir. Now, the choral group, or choir, rehearsed right after the morning worship because we only had the auditorium reserved on Sundays, Sunday mornings for worship, Sunday evenings for Christ Trek and the children's ministry. We had a very eclectic kind of special music during this time. We did gospel, traditional, piano, harp, string, flute, trumpet, very different. Tell us about working with Dr. Braun for worship. Jerry picked the hymns during this time. Sometimes he even picked hymns numbers by title, not necessarily by the tune. There were a few times when I would start playing in the middle of the service and he would stop me because he led the singing and I wasn't playing the tune that he knew. So he'd have me change the hymn to match the tune that he knew or needed right there on the spot. How well did that building work as a church facility? Well, because of the shortage of facilities, we had to do a lot of creativity and fluidity, fluidity during, in planning to adjust to the circumstances. Our children would host spaghetti suppers at the Old Orthopedic Hospital, which continued even when we finished our first building, or phase one. Jerry was very receptive to children being a part of worship. All through the history of Southminster, our children and youth have developed and conducted worship opportunities, not only singing or playing instruments and worship through drama as a regular part of our educational ministry. Margaret Neely has been very instrumental in teaching and leading drama this entire time. How did things change when Pastor Dan came on board? When Dan came, we moved back to one service for a feeling of one church family, feel it's not so segregated. Uh, he was also, after extensive operation, Dan decided that congregational participation would be more, the congregation would be more involved if we initiated a rotation of three to five praise and worship songs, one usually being a form of a traditional hymn every 12 weeks to encourage familiarity and congregational participation. Then we had the pandemic. Ooh wee, what was that a time? We had, we had recorded music to complement Dan's recorded sermons. Then we had the time where we set up and played outside from May to October. And God took care of the rain for us, it was amazing. We had multiple services, some were recorded, some were live with recorded music, some were outside with live music, and then we had streaming. We moved from the old sanctuary to the gym with bring your own chairs, then the gym while the welcome center was being renovated, then into our new sanctuary. The pandemic really created a whole new way of worship with a lot of responsibility on our AV team. Those people are truly gifted and spirit-filled volunteers. They amaze me every week. Exactly. 